Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you what was inside my $1 craft supply box that I picked up at a yard sale. I didn't share it with you in the last haul because there was quite a few items inside and that video would have took forever. So I, what I'm gonna do is kind of lay it out on the table and just kind of film it at the table. I'm not gonna be able to hold everything up because they're little tiny pieces. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started and see what's inside. I'm not really sure at the moment either, I kind of glanced at it, but we'll, we'll look at it together. All right, so we're gonna dive into this bag here first. I'll go ahead and take everything out and then we'll go ahead and look it over and see what was inside. So I try to break it down into different themes. This is the more woodland type animals. And the larger section over here, I am going to resell. I'll lot them together and resell for craft and supplies. This little guy's feet are broken, but I'm sure someone might still, you know, would rather have it than not. And then these three over here, I'm going to keep for my own crafting purposes. I really liked how the spotted deer looks, so I will be adding those to my crafting supplies. The Christmas stuff here is actually what caught my attention in the bag and what I wanted. So the majority of this I will be keeping. I'll like get rid of that yellow angel in the back. And there's some broken candy cane stuff down there I probably won't use. And I'm not sure on the wooden ones on the side there as well. But for the most part, I think a lot of them are super cute. I really love the little vintage Santas over here. There's a couple new and packaged. look like little carolers or something in that one. And I love those little angels down there as well. Very, very nice set. These were all the birds that were inside. They have quite a few nice ones. I don't think I'm planning on keeping too many of them. I do like this one here in the bag. And I like those little Easter ones I might keep for an Easter craft. But for the most part, I think I don't mind letting most of them go. I'll probably list them on my Etsy shop and lot them off together. I might hang on to a few of the bluebirds. I do kind of like those and maybe the teal ones, like that style. But for the most part, I think those will go on to be someone else's crafting supplies. This lot here, I don't really see anything I plan to keep for myself. Uh, they have some butterflies and a little ladybug. I don't know if these are supposed to be ladders down here or if they're just broken canvas pieces. But I'm sure someone might, you know, use them for something. And there's some kind of cute squirrels there and little teddy bears. So someone will probably like those. And we have some kind of Thanksgiving ones over here. A few bunnies there. The little white bunnies, kind of cute. I might keep that one. And then there's this little package of pandas that I will resell because I'm not really <laughs> into pandas. But I know there are some people that are, so... Yeah, that's that. These are kind of the random things that were also in the bag. I'm not sure what these candle holder and candles things are about, but they're new and packaged. So if you're interested, <laughs> I can definitely post them for you. And then this is some kind of beaded bracelet thing. And this is the last that was in the bag. A bunch of little mice, not my favorite. So these would definitely be listed. There's a little cheese down there. It's kind of cute. But if mice are your thing, definitely be on the lookout for these in my Etsy shop. There was a few things new in package. There's this foam sticker set here. And then this is really fun. This definitely looks older. They are stocking fillers, I guess. I'm not quite sure what you do with them. I guess you would have just hung them off the side of your stocking or use them for... Uh, when you wrap a gift and maybe just put them inside the ribbon there. So definitely very cute and vintage. Likely we'll hang on to those. I love my vintage Christmas items. There's an entire bag of these plastic butterflies here. And those will likely get resold. I don't really think I have a use for those. And then this bag of confetti, I guess is what it is. All the items that I'm going to show you was actually in this bag back here. They were tucked away nicely. And they are all new and packaged from what I can tell. We got this very adorable set here of little Christmas elves, I guess. And then we got two Santas there. Very cute. These, I don't know the age of them, but they're Hong Kong. So likely at least the 60s, I would guess. 
And then we get a couple of Santas there from Basket World. I've never heard of that store. And um, we have some little angels down here in the pink. Then this one is these little cherub angels in kind of a iridescent color there. And then we have some blue angels playing the accordion. So those are very similar to those ones up there. And then we have this little kissing Santa and Mrs. Claus there, very cute. And this one I really like with the Santa and the two reindeer on it. And we got a couple of flowers. We got a little poinsettia there and just, well, I guess those are snowflakes. So that is what was inside that little bag. There was also these ribbons inside there. I'm not sure I have much use for any of them. I might hang on to that green one in the back. I'm sure you guys know that <laughs> being my favorite color. So I do like that green one with my kind of diamond shapes. But the other ones I will probably just relist for crafting supplies for somebody. This one here might be good for Christmas, the red one, so that might potentially be a keeper as well. So we're almost done here. They had some floral wire inside, a few more pieces of ribbon, some little cloth butterflies, and this little pog thing. And they have this cute little duck. <laughs> That's pretty, you know, cute, a little duck pick there, and then just a little bit more ribbon as well. They had a little thing of sand there for sand sculptures, another foam sticker pack. I think this is some kind of hair to put on a doll, I guess. <laughs> I don't you know, know anything about doll making, but they had that in there. A new set of paintbrushes are always handy. And then this just kind of photo frame here, I guess, in a bleak state that you can decorate. Now, I've never seen these before, but I think they're really cool. They put these on the outside of blankets, and I really like the rainbow ribbon here, those two on the end. So I will definitely look up and see what those go for and list those, but very pretty. This here is kind of neat. It's actually a thicker piece of plastic that you're able to make your own stencils out of so you can get something to trace and cut it out, and then that is your stencil. I've never seen that before. And then a nice pair of green scissors. Those are always handy to have on hand. And this here is an older, I think it's like a calligraphy set. And it's pretty well used here, but it has the different tips on it. And I'm not really sure if this is something that would sell, but I will definitely look into that. So what did you guys think of the craft supplies? I thought that was a pretty epic find for the price. One dollar for all that. Definitely a good score. I'll probably resell some of it. I do look forward to doing some Christmas crafts with some of the other pieces. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a really fun deal. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like on your way out if you enjoyed this video. It really helps my channel out. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.